Whoo! Now this is a, a video that I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of dreading on making, but it needs to be made, and we're gonna get into why. But first, intro. Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another vlog video. And yeah, as um, as you guys can probably tell from the title down below and from the opening bumper, uh, yes, this video is about my relationship with alcohol and why, um, much like the Mary Jane, we don't really see uh, much of each other anymore. And uh, when I get into the uh, stories um, as to why, and well, once I get into the, the uh, story aspect of this video, then you guys will understand why. Now, look, it's no surprise, it's no secret, you know what I mean? Hey, look, we were all young once, you know what I'm saying? And usually we all tend to get this idea that when you're young, you know what I mean? Yo, that, that's that's party time, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I get it. You want to have fun, you want to get all that stuff out of your system while, while, you're, while you're young, you know what I'm saying? I'm no different than um people who are like in their late teens early 20s you know what i mean i have early experiences with alcohol and there's a reason why i don't really drink a whole lot of alcohol anymore as a matter of fact the last time i took my drink was when alpha tyler and i used to do the uh, awesome show i'm not really sure if we're ever gonna do another awesome show episode or not uh, with the way things are going um not that there's anything going on between um, alpha tyler and i or anything like that um, it's just that, you know, um, he's, he, he's doing his thing, which I totally, you know, respect and I'm doing my thing, which he respects as well. So, you know, don't get it twisted. You know what I mean? I mean, we're, we're still just as tight as ever. And, um, we're just right now, we're just kind of like, you know, respecting each other's space to put it that way. You know what I mean? We're trying to keep things on a professional level. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway. Uh, that was the last time um, I recall drinking really of anything was um, doing the awesome show and if memory serves I don't, I don't even think I drank that much I only had like maybe like maybe like one or two beers and there were the tiny uh, the little tiny uh, coronitas if you will um, and yeah and, and, and ever since I finished those coronitas um, I never really gone out of my way to go and pick up more alcohol i just don't really feel a need for it um reason being is because you know much like um much like well not, not really much like mary jane alcohol is a whole different animal um but what i'm trying to drive at is that um i don't really feel a need to drink anymore some of the reasons why I really don't care to drink anymore is because I have a lot of awful memories um, when it comes to um, getting drunk. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get in, get into it. I mean, let's go ahead and jump in with the stories. I told the story uh, many a times. I told it in past videos. I even told it in, in a song called Ain't No Grave, which is, yeah, it's a, a remix of a classic um, Johnny Cash song, Ain't No Grave. Um, and I'm actually thinking about redoing that song because the quality, the, the quality of the original is not that great, and I feel like I could do a better job than that. Um, so I may, I may redo that song. Um, but anyway, uh, the uh, story is, and this is really like my huge uh, wake-up call when it comes to alcohol. I'll never forget this. This was back in about 2007. It was around April. 2007 so I was 21 at the time ironically enough you know drinking age um, <clears throat> and uh, I got I remember getting getting so tore up that I was literally um, dancing you know on that border between um, alcohol poisoning and you know still being on the right side of that line you know what I mean where life is um, I was I was at a point where I was blacking out, you know what I'm saying? Um, had no control, um, and it was that time where one of my cousins, who I had a fallout with not not long ago, uh, about a few years back, 
no more than a few years back, four years ago now, um, <clears throat> he decided to throw a little get together. And it was a small gathering, just a few friends, mostly um, immediate family members were going to be there. And um, one of the friends decided to take full advantage of your boy while he was, you know, blackout drunk. You know what I mean? And on the br on, damn near on the brink of alcohol poisoning. Uh, now, what I mean by taking advantage is no, it's nothing, nothing disgusting. So please get your head out, heads out of the gutter. This dude decided that that would be a good time to beat the ever loving dog shit out of me um, to the point of damn near death. Um, and it took, and while this is happening, I can remember seeing this visual, and this visual forever haunts me to this day. I could see my relatives standing and sitting idly by and just watching this dude beat the shit out of me. I remember him taking off one of my shoes and slapping me in the face with one of my own shoes. And nobody did anything. It took another friend, someone who was not family, to finally say, all right, enough's enough, and and basically overpower that dude and get him off of me. Um, and then the next day when I woke up, uh, thank God, um, I remember feeling lumps like all around my head, like my head was like swollen. You know what I mean? It felt like a freaking soccer ball. Um, how I managed to live through that is a miracle, even to, to me. Um, and the dude that saved me, even he joined in on the laugh and whatever, decided, oh, you know, oh, I guess because dude's still alive, whatever he made through the night, whatever, I can laugh at him now. But it's like, you know, I appreciate the assist, dude, but still, I mean, that wasn't a laughing matter because, yeah, while it may appear, you know, I was out of the woods, I mean, I still have to, you know, go through that process of recovering, you know what I'm saying, from not only the illness that being drunk brings, you know what I mean, from, you know, from feeling sick to your stomach and then feeling, you know, sick to your head and everything to the point where you're already, you know, ready to throw up and everything and, and then now not only that but then also recover from the beat down that, that I took on top of that um, it was it was right then and there where I decided alright look if I'm gonna drink then I need to chill out you know what I'm saying and not overdo it because I don't like again much like with, with weed and everything I don't like the feeling of not being in control I don't like the feeling of you know <clears throat> something fatal possibly happening, you know what I'm saying, and not being um, sober enough, you know what I mean, to prevent it from happening, you know what I'm saying, like, I could have lost my life that night, for all I know, and, um, and ironically enough, later on that year, like, during the summertime, it was just July of the same year, um, same cousin, decided um, he was going to throw another get-together, and as an ultimate sign of disrespect, you know what I'm saying, as a blatant slap in the face, the dude that damn near beat my ass to death when I was too drunk to defend myself was also at his house, and dude literally had the nerve to tell me, don't do anything to this dude, don't put your hands on this dude, and I'm looking at him like, okay. All right, you know what I mean? Because like, whatever. Because I basically, I basically took that like, okay, so whatever he does, then I, I, I'm gonna remember. You told me not to touch him, so that means if he turns on you or anyone else, I, I'm not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, you told me not to touch him. You told me not not to fight anybody. So whatever. And um, before you know it. Everyone got, well, not everyone, like, majority of the people that, that came that showed up who were this th this dude's friends, uh, they all showed up, they decided to get drunk, and they decided to get rowdy, and one guy stabbed one of, one of my other, one of our one of our cousins, you know, right below the rib cage. luckily it wasn't too serious, he, he recovered from that, no problem, and then, um, 
no, my cousin who was hosting the party, like same dude who hosted the last party, who was hosting this party. Um, he was getting into the middle of all these brawls and everything, and before I knew it, um, I, I see him. He 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 stumbles right. He bumps into me because he was stumbling drunk. I'm like, dude, what the fuck's up with you and whatever. And then he, before I know it, he park he plants himself up against the wall, like up, up against the doorway, like right outside the front door. And I'll never forget this image. And it's not, and one side of his face was literally covered in blood. And uh, his uh, girlfriend at the time, luckily she was there. She saw what was going on, and I basically told her, "Look, get dude the hell out of here. I'll do whatever I can to help everyone, you know, to keep everyone at bay or whatever. But just get this dude out of here. Get him to the nearest hospital, medical facility, whatever the hell. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and so, yeah. So luckily, we got him out of there um, in time. Um, doctors were able to save him, and he too was was stabbed. Um, I believe, like, also like below the rib cage." And uh, doctors told him, had he um, had the had the stabber gone, like I think another, I want to say an inch to maybe two inches at the most, um, he would have been dead. And um, and you would think, you know, after hearing about that, you know, what I'm saying hearing that, you know, it would give this dude a new lease on life you know what i'm saying a newfound appreciation of life and everything but nope he, nope he was still basically being the uh, same dumbass and whatever and, and i mean he was smarter about who he would invite you know over to to the house whenever he had any more functions like i think he just kept it strictly just to family like only, only families allowed no friends or whatever because then the friends are going to want to invite their friends or whatever so no we're going to keep it just the family or whatever but and then um <clears throat> and then uh him and the rest of the family keep in mind these are the same people who watch me get my ass beat and nobody did anything so I'm not surprised but I guess they decided to tell him that I wasn't outside which was not true I was um, basically just trying to, you know, gather everybody up to get them back to the house. Cause you know, cops were, cause I knew cops were going to be called. So my thing is just try to get everyone back to the house. Everyone who was supposed to be at the house, get them back to the house. But my, my, my way of thinking was no, just get everyone back to the house. As soon as everyone's back at the house, get them in the house, lock the door. So that way if cops show up or when the cops show up, they'll see these idiots and they'll, they'll deal with them. You know what I'm saying? Um, but no, they, they wanted to make it look like, nope, uh, J Jason was in the house the whole time or whatever. Like, huh, okay, whatever. Keep telling yourselves that, you know what I mean? But y'all know that, that that's fucking bullshit. Um, and it was it was also then and there, too, where I decided, you know what? If my family, if my so-called family is not going to recognize me doing my part and trying to help the situation and also not help me for when I get inebriated then for one I'm not gonna hang out with these people anymore like fuck them two um I'm gonna slow down on my drinking you know what I'm saying um so and, and I did I, I slowed down on my drinking you know I kept it you know mainly social um if I'm at a family gathering or whatever I'll, I'll have like maybe like a beer maybe two beers no more than three you know what I mean? Because I figured, well, with three, um, that'll be enough to work me a, a good buzz or whatever. And then after that, I'm cool. Um, now, um, after learning um, m more about what alcohol actually does to you, and fellas, you're, you're going to want to listen to this, especially those of you in the back who have a hard time listening. You may want to raise the volume up or something, but uh, let me tell y'all something. There's multiple reasons why. Um, I'm not going to be drinking any more alcohol. For one, I don't like that feeling of being sick. You know what I'm saying? Feeling like I got I got a stomach bug or whatever and I got to yak my guts out and whatever. Like, nah. Like, I'm, I'm cool on that. You know what I'm saying? If y'all still want to drink or whatever, 
then much like marijuana be smart about it you know what i'm saying make sure you're somewhere safe make sure you're, you're, you're somewhere somewhere where you can stay the night or whatever you know what i'm saying don't drive or whatever don't don't be a dumbass um but uh also but so not only because i don't like the feeling of being sick i also found out that alcohol actually raises uh estrogen levels what what the fuck so to any of y'all stereotypical dudes that want to pick on another dude for drinking a, a a fruity drink a alcoholic fruity drink and you want to call it a girly drink well guess what jokes on you because no matter what 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 form of alcohol you're, you're consuming whether it's wine wine coolers beer you know what I'm saying champagne it, it it don't matter shots don't freaking matter all alcohol drinks are technically girly drinks because again it raises estrogen levels if you notice why some overweight dudes you know what I mean have have man boobies or whatever it's probably because they drink a shit ton of alcohol and hence why they got they got the man boobies you know what I'm saying um, I don't know about y'all but I, I'm I'm not a chick you know what I'm saying I'm not I'm not a female so I rather you know grow out my my uh, my uh, chest by working out you know what I'm saying and actually have pecs instead of breasts you know what I'm saying so uh but like I said if all y'all don't have a problem with that you know what I'm saying you want to look like look like a you know you want to look, look look like a woman or whatever then hey by all means it's your life you know what I mean you do what you want to do um, the purpose of this video is basically to share my experience and hopefully help out someone who needs and or wants the help. You know what I'm saying? If they're considering to, if they're, you know, struggling with um, alcoholism, if they're, if they're addicted to alcohol, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully this will help them, you know, uh, want to quit. You know what I'm saying? Um, if, if they want to quit, that is. Obviously, I can't force anyone to do anything. Um, <clears throat> and so, yeah, I mean, given with all this this craziness that comes with alcohol, it's like, to me, it just, it, it's not worth it. And then the effects that alcohol has on you, to me, it's not worth it. Shit can make you look and feel like like, like a freaking female if you're a dude, you know what I mean? And you're not trying to look, look and feel that way. And, um, <laughs> and then, of course, I'm, you know um that that feeling of being sick you know what i'm saying i just yeah i'm i'm, I'm good on that and people can say whatever like you know oh whatever man you, you freaking bitch made or whatever you know you a whole bitch or whatever I, i'm not the one raising my estrogen levels so who's the real bitch at the end of the day <laughs> i'm just saying bro let's not play ourselves i'm just saying um, so yeah, man, I'm, I'm just saying for me, you know, I'm good on that. You know what I mean? Um, I ain't trying to be no freaking, freaking dumbass about things. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to feel sick and I want to feel like a man, you know what I'm saying? Um, and not, not a woman. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. This is going to be a, a, a quick one. Cause I mean, really pretty much just straightforward, um, compared to the, the uh, video that uh, I did about weed. And plus, I don't want to talk in loops again. So, I'll just do one more quick recap. Yeah, you know, I'm good on alcohol. Um, I don't like the feeling of being sick. I don't want to feel like a woman when I'm not a woman. Um, and, uh, yeah. And, you know, and I don't want to be in, in a situation where I'm in no control. You know what I mean? And, uh, and where I could possibly lose my life. You know? Um... Because at the end of the day, it's it's not worth it. You know what I mean? And plus, that shit's getting expensive too. You know what I mean? It's really hurting the uh, the uh, wallet. So, yeah, I'm I'm good on that, man. Um, like I said, I rather invest into things that are more healthy, artistic, creative, constructive. You know what I'm saying? Um, as a matter of fact, I just got done working on a couple of custom figures. You know what I mean? Just got this um, Christian Bale Batman. Got him a custom velvet cape. Uh, this one is not done yet. It's still a work in progress. This is the uh, Batfleck figure that I'm working on. I just started repainting him. I got to change out his cape. And then he originally didn't have any eyes. So I started on the eyes. I'm probably going to leave him white like that because I kind of like that effect. It makes him look like a, like, a, like a comic book version of Batman. Um, 
Or I don't know. I, I, or I might paint the pupils on uh, later. We'll see what happens with that. But um, yeah, I mean, I'd rather invest in stuff like my hobbies, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's my figure collecting and modding or my die cast collection and modding, you know what I'm saying? Um, and also in my, in my YouTube stuff, you know? Um, promoting my videos and everything so you know we can help boost our numbers and everything and uh yeah yeah so yep i'm cool on the drinking i'm cool on the smoking you know what i'm saying um it's just not in my my list of priorities you know what i'm saying like shit like that is just it's just not that important to me anymore you know it never really was um so yeah if i never you know I never touch another bottle or whatever I'm good you know what I'm saying um I'm perfectly okay with that you know so yeah all right y'all pretty much all I got to say I don't want to talk in loops I'm catching myself talking in loops so uh yeah pretty much y'all know the deal man comment section is always open for conversation feel free to share your viewpoints your insights your perspective you know what I'm saying do you still drink alcohol do you not um uh, like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm, this, these videos are not to tell you what to do with your life, your money, or whatever. At the end of the day, it's your life. Live your best life. If you're going to do these things, all I ask is that please just be responsible about it. Please be smart about it. Be safe about it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. But like I said, if you, if you still enjoy these things, no judgment. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, these videos, again, are to share my perspective on things like smoking like you know drinking and whatnot and these are here to help serve the purpose of helping out those who want who need and or want the help you know what i'm saying so if these videos help at least one person on god's green earth then a hey, that would mean the world to me you know what i mean and it lets me know that um you know i'm doing something good i'm doing something right you know what i'm saying um Cause yeah, that's really my, my intent, you know. What I mean, when I um, share my experiences and um, you know, get basically get give my perspective on these on these things. All right, all right, y'all. So with all that being said, uh, it is your boy Jason JV saying, don't forget to of course like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I'll be very much appreciated. That will help keep the channel alive. Don't forget to of course check out all the links, including your boys' uh, storefront links. If you want to get some original JJV uh, pearl. You know what I'm saying? Another uh, merch that'll definitely help out, um, help keep the channel alive and everything. And it is greatly appreciated. Not required, but it is greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah. Till the next one, y'all have a blessed one. I'll catch y'all later. All right. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. Just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Patrick. I'm after the next video. Who's saying what's up to me? Get your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, if you're sad, if you're sad, if you're happy. I'm not be too happy. I'm not expecting shit. It's like doing curves all the time. So you ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!